Our war on British tyranny begins tonight. In Boston, brave men fight for the right to govern themselves. Tonight, we fight for freedom. As I bear witness to the sacrifice of this generation, I take great comfort in the memory of our forefathers, those pioneering men who traveled to these shores seeking a new life. Like the intrepid Captain John Smith and his fellow settlers, we too seek a new world, not only for ourselves, but for future generations of Americans. As I look back on their endeavors, at the unknown dangers that awaited the pioneers over every rise and behind every tree, I am reminded that I play but a small part in a much greater story. Ready yourselves, man! Stay behind cover, men! They're charging again! Steady! Hold the line! Watch the trees, men! Infantry! On the right! From the very beginning, there have been hardships, irreplaceable losses, brothers, fathers, sons lost to war, famine, and disease. And yet our forefathers endured, refusing to give up on the one thing they all believed in so fervently, freedom. Those brave men built a future from an inhospitable land, 
taming it and making it their own. But the wild land was not the only threat. The natives were a constant menace, lurking at their borders, always ready for battle. It became obvious that until borders were clearly established, peace would continue to be elusive. You must lead the early settlers to establish Jamestown as a safe and prosperous settlement in this dangerous new world. From time to time, the British government will issue various missions to perform. As you complete these missions, the wealth and security of Jamestown will improve and your influence throughout the whole of the new world will expand. Having survived the immediate threat posed by the native tribes, your settlers have already gained valuable combat experience. A message box will inform you when this building is. This is Jamestown, the capital of the region of Virginia. The review panel at the bottom of the screen contains a recruitment tab and a construction tab. Use the recruitment tab to recruit units for your armies. You have entered a unit into the recruitment queue. This yes. is your army. There is often a choice of building types to construct in a resource slot. You can only follow one of these building chains. Once you have constructed the base building, subsequent up new units have been recruited. Left click to select Jamestown. Left click on the army tab. Left click. You can now move your units out of the garrison by right clicking on the campaign map. Oh, you have successfully built a peasant farm and local fishery in the Jamestown region. Jamestown should now grow and prosper, so it's time to deal with the threat from local native tribes. Your next compulsory mission is to capture the village of Werewakamoko, deep into unknown territory to the northeast. Mm. Yes, sir. Sir, your orders? You have selected a target outside the green highlighted area. This means your character can... isn't just about greater numbers. The balance of units and the commander's ability are essential. Look at the strength ratio, weather and rain. Battle statistics are displayed here, along with a breakdown. Following capture of a capital city, it is important to leave an adequate garrison behind. Oh, you have successfully captured the village of Werewakamoko and are well on the way to reducing the threat to Jamestown. The condition of victory for completing this episode is to capture the village of Shakamax.
Anything more? What? Your Majesty? A very large army or navy spread over two or more unit stacks may not be able to fight as a single force. A nation can field a maximum of 20 units on the battlefield at one time. In this instance, additional units arrive for battle piecemeal. Joining the Spotted! All hands on deck! Virtue and valor unconquered. Ready for orders. Prepare for battle. Proud and victorious. Attack! As time, as time went by, time went by, hostilities between the natives and settlers began to fade and more ships carrying the hopeful arrived daily. Over the next hundred years, the population swelled and the fight for territory began. Both the British and the French set their sights on the valuable Ohio Valley. And when the French built a line of forts across the valley, I was sent to demand the instant withdrawal of their troops. They refused, and the British retaliated by sending an army under General Braddock to take the valley by force. I was unlucky enough to be an officer in that army. Braddock's limited knowledge of his surroundings and his refusal to listen to counsel led to his downfall. He marched us straight into a French ambush. Massacred. The cries of the wounded still haunt my dreams. This terrible loss encouraged the British to take a closer look at the tactics and cunning employed by their native allies. Use of these warriors and their knowledge of the land would prove to be the key to claiming the Ohio Valley. The French have established a series of forts in the Ohio Valley. These forts are well defended and will be difficult to take through military force alone. Perhaps the Iroquois tribe to the north will provide you with some much needed assistance. Now that you have negotiated an alliance with the Iroquois, you will be able to recruit native warriors to bolster your armies.
Your orders, Your Majesty? Your Majesty. My lord. Forward! March! At the ready. Sir. Right click to move your army to any part of the highlighted area. Attack by right clicking on a rival's army or city. Merge with a friendly army by moving to the same spot. Board a fleet at a coast by moving onto it. The swine rot right in the sty. Behind women's skirts. <laughs> Lifting siege! Units can now be recruited directly by a general in the field. Select the Recruitment tab, then left-click on the unit to act. have successfully captured Fort Niagara. The Ohio Valley is now firmly under British control. However, the war against the French has now escalated across the entire 13 colonies, and it's not going well for the British. You must do what you can to help them overcome the French. The majority of your faction's income is generated by taxation. Click on the government button to view and adjust your card. You have just selected a piece belonging to another.
You currently have an active mission to construct a dockyard. More orders? Not possible, sir. Majesty. Forward! March! Anything more? True. Any further orders? Forward! Units that have suffered losses in battle. March! Make ready, march. By the left, march. Make Men. ready, forward, march. Funds forward. are deducted from your treasury at the beginning of each turn to pay for the supplies and rest. wages of your troops in the field. This is known as unit upkeep. Taxes are set on a theatre-wide level, not by individual region. Keeping taxes at high levels for protracted lengths of time makes people unhappy and reduces future growth. Yes, sir. Settlement under siege.
Orders received and understood. Orders? Ships, orders received. This piece cannot move any further now. The swan rot in the sky. Settlement under siege. March. When defending your territory, it's important to know how far enemy armies are able to move. Click on an enemy army to see its zone of movement. Impossible, sir. Prepare the troops sir. for battle. As a unit fights and survives battles, it gains experience points that improve sir. its ability to deal with future combat situations. Experience increases morale, so an experienced unit is battle. less likely to break and run from battle when under stress and fatigue. More orders? Forward! Troops! Forward! Prepare the troops for battle! Fleet ahoy! Withdraw, withdraw! Destination ahoy! Ready for action! Occupying a port with an army prevents the enemy from trading through it and producing new ships. Note that a port cannot be besieged. Enemy ahoy! Sail for the horizon.
ready and awaiting order. Siege works underway. Yes, my lord. Aye, aye, Captain. Any orders? When viewing user interface panels, you will notice a question mark button in their top left hand corners. This is the help button. Click on it in order to get advice about the panel in question. Settlement under siege. Enemy fleet ahoy! Round shot is the most widely used type of ammunition, and is used by all artillery as their default ammunition type. The round shot button in the bottom right of the screen allows you to select round shot.
Town wealth is a term used to represent the wealth of the population of a town, city, port, or resource. The level of town wealth is dictated by the income provided by buildings and taxation. Region wealth, this tab shows all existing buildings in the selected town or city. Mouse over them to see what can yet be constructed. Planning your construction needs is essential to a successful empire. Buildings of education further the research and acquisition of new technology. Ports do not just facilitate overseas trade. Upgrading to a dockyard also allows naval vessels. If left standing in the region of another, an army will automatically inflict damage to the surrounding countryside. This means destroying roads, farms, mines, ports and natural resources through looting and pillage. This will eventually affect trade income and population growth if left unchecked. Awaiting further order. Lord? Not possible, sir. Make Build forts in strategic march. positions near the border. There are currently no troops stationed at this fort. As upgrade ports to dockyards for the ability to go. Press the Control and S keys simultaneously to quickly save the game from the campaign map. Press Control L to quickly load the last save. Men. More orders? Forward. Your Majesty. Men. Forward. My Lord. Troops. Forward. Sir, your orders? Yes, sir. Sir. We can't do that, sir. Forging supplies. Right-click to move your fleet to any part of the highlighted area. Move the fleet to a coast and right-click on land to disembark any passengers. Alternatively, select the units or agents you wish to disembark and right-click on the shore. You can attack a fleet belonging to another nation when it is within the highlighted area. Armies that are not large enough to be effective could be destroyed if attacked. Yes, my lord. March! Yes, sir. Forward! March! Aye, aye, sir! My lord. Ready for order. Anything more? Lord? 
in position. True. Fleet ready. Set sail. Way anchor. Awaiting further orders. Aye, aye, Captain. All the way. On our way, Captain. Set sail. Come about. Heave Make away, boys. Count. Heave away. In order to gain control of a garrisoned and fortified city, it's often necessary to Orders, Your Majesty. Enemy fleet ahoy!
There has been an eruption of national pride in your home region following your victories on the field of battle. Every time a battle is won, or a territory conquered, the populace become more fervent in their support of the war. This is indicated by increased happiness. <gasps> Ready and waiting Anything for more? Your orders, Your Majesty? Your Majesty? Onward! At the ready. Immediately! Battalions ready! Sir. Yes, sir. Sound the call to battle! Undaunted! When attacking a fort or city, a general can demand that the defenders surrender with the honors of war. Periodically, your government will issue missions for you to undertake. Although optional, it can be useful to do them in order to learn various aspects of gameplay. Your first mission has arrived. To begin, simply click on the relevant message box on the left. Click on the missions button in the bottom right of the screen to view details of active missions. Ready for order. Sir. Form line for battle! Target under sir. siege, sir! Your orders? Although the age of large scale official buccaneering is over, uh, do not concentrate the construction of military buildings within a single region. Spread out to ensure the availability of troops during an invasion. Aye, sir! Orders, Captain. Under Not sail. Not possible, sir. Immediately. Make ready. Sir! Set Can't sail. do that, General. Ship shape and Bristol fashion, Captain. Aye, aye, Captain. Ready and waiting. Come about. Still ship shape.
The ruling classes have written a letter of demands to your national leader as they are unhappy with the current government. Failure to comply will lead to an organized rebellion against you. Acquiescence at this stage could lead to further demands. Where exactly will you draw the line? Settlement besieged. Ready for action. On our way, Captain. Come Gathering about. supplies. Not possible. Your nation could be making more money through trade. Instigate diplomacy to make new trade agreements. A diplomatic negotiations panel can be accessed through the button on the bottom right of the screen. Currently, no troops stationed at this fort. As things stand, it could easily be occupied by an enemy army. Your army has successfully occupied a port belonging to the enemy. While the siege lasts, their food supply will be affected. Trade cannot pass through it, and no ships can be constructed there. It is possible to take a fort or city without risking a pitched battle. A patient general can throttle the fight out of the defenders by laying siege for several turns. This is time consuming. Your nation could be making more money through trade. Instigate to Battalions ready! Settlement under siege! Sir, your order? Sir.
Your large empire has many regions to administer, and there is barely enough money being made. Your empire has grown faster than your administration's ability to tax it. Make sure you tax your provinces as effectively as possible. Siege works underway. Lord? Attack! They are trapped! Settlement besieged. Settlement under siege. We are triumphant. Farm line for battle! The construction of life. If you want to concentrate, the National Summary tab is used to display important information about the state of your nation in one place for ease of reference. Settlement besieged. There are currently no troops stationed at this fort. As things stand, it could easily be occupied by an enemy army. Awaiting further orders. Troops! They hide behind women's skirts. <laughs> the swine rock, sir. Style. Your orders? Arm line for battle! Target under siege, sir! Enemy fleet ahoy!
Britain won its war against the French, but it was we, the American people, who bore the cost. Our treatment at the hands of the British fueled fires of discontent that spread quickly through the colonies. In Boston, a group of men dressed as Indians boarded British ships and threw a cargo of tea into the harbor. Across America, talk of rebellion became commonplace, and despite several attempts to negotiate, our demands fell on deaf ears. It was this constant refusal to accept a new order in the colonies that would be the spark which lit the fuse of revolution. And so, I find myself here, watching with pride as my fellow Americans tear down the tyranny of the British. We fight for freedom, a driving force stronger than the word of any general. We will need this strength in the battles to come. The British will not easily relinquish their control over our home. The fight will be hard, but the rewards are boundless. Yes, sir! The war for independence has begun, and the fate of the city of Boston lies in the balance. Your men are entrenched on Bunker Hill, with the British preparing to mount a determined assault. You must hold the hill, and drive off the British at all costs. Your artillery are key to the outcome of the battle, and will likely come under severe pressure from the British Army. Use them wisely. Expect the British to mount a full frontal assault for the hill, but watch out for a flank attack from cavalry and light infantry. Use the terrain and buildings to your advantage, and Boston will surely be ours.
While the war, the war rages on, the members of the Continental Congress gather to sign our Declaration of Independence, the founding document of our great nation, a nation where the principles of freedom and equality are upheld by just and honorable men. This war will not be an easy one. Lives will be lost and families torn apart. But this is the price of independence. As I march, I think of my men and the sacrifice some are about to make. We are outnumbered and undersupplied, and yet we march. We march for our beliefs, for our families, for our freedom. Following your glorious victory at Bunker Hill, the British have evacuated Boston. The city is now under your control. Your army in Boston now contains troops that are battle-hardened and buoyed by their success. However, the rest of the British army outnumbers us on both land and at sea, and is well supplied and disciplined. If the people of America are to be free, its fledgling army must find a way to overcome these odds. Perhaps Britain's oldest adversary, France, can be persuaded to balance the odds. Although the age of large-scale official buccaneering is over due to bigger and better organized navies, enemy shipping is... Sir. Tingle with anticipation. Yes. At the ready, your humble servant.
your orders? What do you require of me? At the ready. Onward! Waiting for your orders. Burn! Settlement besieged. Ready waiting and waiting for orders. Make ready. March. Waiting for your orders. Sir. Forward. March pallions ready. The swan rot in the sty. Aye, sir. Left click on the boxes that slide down the left of the screen to view important messages. Right click to delete them. How can I help? I tingle with anticipation. My honor is to serve. The construction of libraries, schools, colleges and universities enables the research of new technologies and ideas that could keep your nation ahead of its rivals. As well as producing gentlemen or scholars for research, these buildings also have the residual effect of educating the masses. However, this might be a bad thing if not carefully managed. People with ideas above their stations can cause unrest or worse. How may I serve? Settlement under siege. Settlement under siege. With time to prepare, artillery units can deploy behind baskets of stones and pearls. Horse artillery has an advantage in mobility over other artillery, as it can be moved at speed. This speed of maneuver allows them quickly to take up good firing positions, often out of normal artillery's reach. Deploying your infantry behind walls will drastically reduce the number of casualties they suffer. To shelter a selected infantry unit, 
right-click on the wall, then drag the cursor to the side you want your men to occupy. The siege is lifted. The construction of industrial... We can't do that. Anything sir. more? Crush them utterly. Victory is ours. Men, forward. Attack! Buildings that have been damaged due to sabotage or during battle forward. can be rebuilt. March. To repair a building, select it and click on the rebuild button to the left of the panel. Ship shape and Bristol fashion, Captain.
Mines facilitate the harvesting of underground resources, such as gold, silver, iron, and precious gems, for both manufacturing and trade purposes. As population growth is slow here, it is recommended that you upgrade farms or bring lower class taxes down. Increasing the food supply and net income of the layman will reduce the infant mortality rate, thereby increasing the population. tingle with anticipation. I demand. Sail for the horizon. More orders? Swine to the slaughter! Proud and victorious. Waiting for your orders. Yes, sir. Yes. Forward, march! Yes, sir. Prepare the troops for battle! This panel is used to research new technologies that will enable your nation to gain advantage over its rivals. To begin, simply select the item you wish to research. The presence of a gentleman or scholar will speed up the process. When all nations but one know about a new technology or idea, it becomes common knowledge. A nation lagging behind will eventually find out what everyone else knows, although it may be too late to use the information to their advantage.
Note that agents cannot be recruited as a unit might be. They are automatically spawned. Sir. In the case of gentlemen and scholars, the rate of this spawning is dependent on the level of the educational buildings, such as universities, within your empire. For rakes, hashishin and thuggies, the rate of spawning is linked to the level of entertainment buildings, such as... Victory is ours! March. As your population level increases, villages will grow into towns, enabling the construction of buildings for improving income, happiness, military or research capabilities. In Empire Total War, buildings are spread throughout a region in towns, ports and cities, rather than being concentrated solely at its yes. capital. What do you require of me? With all speed. You can move your gentleman Sir. by right-clicking on any part of the highlighted area. He will move within the extent of it, but no further in one turn. Right-click on a character to interact with him. Settlement Enemy sail approaching!
Your nation could greatly increase its trade income by sending merchant ships known as Indiamen to other continents. There are special trade theaters off the coasts of Africa, Target South America, and the East Indies. Virtue and valor unconquered! Use this panel to select clicking on the infiltrate button means your agent will begin spying upon arrival at his destination. If he is successful, you will be able to see more information about the buildings and troops inside. As with all subterfuge actions, there is a percentage chance of success and failure may mean capture and execution. Anything more? By the left, march, march! Yes? Sir. We shall triumph! Victory is ours! Forward, march! Forward, march! There is unused land suitable for farming in this region. Building farms here will help the population to grow over time and produce trade income. Sir. Ready for orders. More orders? Onwards! At the ready. Yes. By the left, march! Ready and awaiting orders. Make ready. Forward, march! Forward! For crown Forward. and country! For crown and country! Sir. Make ready. Troops, forward. By the left, march. Raise the flag. Form line for battle. Any Waiting further for orders? Your orders. Onwards. Troops, forward. Victory is ours! For harvesting supply ah! for crown and country! There is a port in this region that has not yet been developed. Select the type of port to construct here 
A fishing port will help your population grow. A trade port will provide an income from overseas trade. A naval port allows the construction of warships. is my shield. Discretion is service. guaranteed. Citizens, march! I tingle with anticipation. What do you require of me? Can I be a I need rest. Service. Sir, your orders? They hide behind women's skirts. <laughs> Ready for orders. They are trapped! Settlement besieged. Siege works underway. Victory! There is unused land suitable for farming in this region. Building farms here will help the population to grow over time and produce trade income. Falling behind in the race for knowledge? Technology can be stolen by sending researchers to the educational buildings of your rivals and selecting the item you want to steal in the same way as you would conduct research. However, getting caught has uh, repercussions. Sir, at once, what more As can it I pleases do? You. How may I serve? Discretion is assured. With all haste. Settlement under siege! The swine! 
start. Prepare for borders!
Now this panel is used for negotiations between nations. Available diplomatic options are listed on the left. Click on an option to create a proposal and press the X button. Rioting has broken out in this region as the lower orders have become too unhappy. You must either appease the rioters by lowering taxes or send in the troops to put them down. Whatever you do, act quickly before the riot becomes a rebellion. What do you require of me? How can I be of service? At once. What more can I do? Forward! Anything more? March! Forward! March! There is unused land suitable for farming in this region. Building farms here will help the population to grow over time and produce trade income. What do you require of me? for dishonor.
More orders? Sir? What do you require of me? Information on any selected character, army, fleet, port, city or town you pick on. Yes. Secrecy, my watchword.
sir. Ready and awaiting orders. Men, forward. With advances in military thinking and the relevant research, new firing drills will become available to many of your units. Unit commanders will more effectively direct fire on the enemy, resulting in an improved kill rate and a greater impact on morale. Prepare for war! Men, forward at the ready. Make ready! Mark! Yes, sir. Virtue and valor unconquered.
Obedience to the system of government within a nation is measured in public order. If unhappiness begins to outweigh happiness and state repression at any point, then the resultant unrest can lead to rebellion if left unchecked. Keeping taxes at reasonable level Awaiting further orders. Make ready. Yes? Sir. March! Ready and awaiting orders. Yes, sir. Make ready for battle! In guard mode, units fight defensively, try to maintain their formation when attacked, and don't pursue the enemy if they run away. Not all units can guard. Found in the bottom right of the screen, the guard mode button toggles on and off for selected troops.
Are triumphant. There is a port in this region that has not yet been developed. Select the type of port to construct here. A fishing port will help your population grow. A trade port will provide an income from overseas trade. A naval port allows the construction of warships. Ready and awaiting order. 
waiting for further orders. Yes, sir. March! Forward! March! Ready for orders. The grey pips in the public order section of this panel represent state repression, either from your government type or via intimidation from garrisoned units. Whilst it's useful to keep the population in order, rebellion following a period of heavy repression can be difficult to suppress. Forward, march! Prepare for war! Your orders? How can I be of service? Facts are my currency. Use this option to offer a monetary gift to another nation in order to improve relations between regions. Can Once researched, money can be offered to or demanded of another nation as reparations for war, tribute to avoid attack, or as an act of goodwill. Use the arrow buttons to enter an amount and click on the appropriate checkbox in order to select a single or regular payment before putting forward your proposal. This option is used to broker military alliances. This allows you to call on your ally to provide assistance when at war, and likewise. Note that a refusal to provide support when an ally is under attack. Forward for crown and country! Glorious victory! Forward! March! Hunt them down! We are mighty and unbowed! Ready and awaiting order. Yes? Sir. Make ready for battle! The knight is my friend. Preparing ambush. Forward! March! Foraging supplies. Any further orders? Ready for order. You ask too much. How may I serve?
Your instructions. That's not my job. Ready and awaiting order. Awaiting further order. Make ready. Mark. At the ready. Sound the call to battle. Yes, sir. Moving. Anything else? Yes, as it pleases you. I wait upon your command. Ready for orders. Troops! Forward! Forward! Yes? For crown and country! March! Sir. Your orders? By the left. March. More orders? Take ready. March. Sir. I need rest. Prepare for borders! Always keep some forces in reserve behind your front line. They can fill any gaps that develop and turn to deal with threats to either flank. Farms and outbuildings provide good cover on the battlefield and can be occupied, but remember they're vulnerable to destruction by cannon fire. Stay inside too long and your men may become sitting targets for artillery. To occupy a building, simply select your unit and right-click on the building to deploy them inside.
undaunted, undefeated. There is unused land suitable for farming in this region. Building farms here will help the population to grow over time and produce trade income. Immediately waiting for your orders. At the ready. Proud and victorious. Hello. How can I help? Discretion is guaranteed. What do you require of me? With all speed. I am resting. If it were possible, I would, sir. My eyes are yours. Stealth is my shield. Sir, your orders? Your humble servant. Forward! Forward! March for crown and country! March. Any further orders? At the ready. Forward! March! By the left! March! Sir. At the ready. Ready and awaiting order. Down the call to battle! March! At the ready.
Ready and awaiting order. Yes, sir. Ready and awaiting order. Ready for order. Make ready. March. Command. Seat. Undaunted. Undefeated. Humble servant. Glorious victory. Make ready. Mark. Mark. Sir. Your orders? Sir. Forward for crown and country. Immediately! March! Yes, sir. Down the call to battle! Prepare for battle! Prepare for war! Sir. Make ready for battle! Waiting for further orders. I await. There is unused land suitable for farming in this region. Building farms here will help the population to grow over time and produce trade income. Ready for order. Prepare the troops for battle! Proud and victorious! Make ready, march! Citizens, march by the left, march! By the left, march! Forward, march! Sir. Prepare for battle! Undaunted, undefeated.
There is unused land suitable for plantations in this region. Building plantations here will increase your nation's export capacity, improving income through the income. The income of a plantation is dependent on the global market. Waiting for your orders. More orders? Any further orders? Forward! March! Anything Any further more? further orders? March! Make ready! The March. overall happiness of a population is split between the ruling class and lower orders with different factors contributing to the happiness level of each. Rebellion becomes a risk when part of the population is so unhappy that state repression can no longer contain public disorder. Always try to ensure that public order values remain positive. Prepare for war!
Make ready for battle! You can move your gentleman by right-clicking on any part of the highlight. Yes. Research reveals new cutting edge. Forward! Yes, March. sir. Any further orders? Forward! Sir. For crown and country! Your orders? Make ready. Citizens, march! Forward, march! Forward, yes, march! Yes, sir. The rake is no gentleman. Despite you can move your rake by right clicking on any. There is a port in this region that has not yet been developed. Select the type of port to construct here. A fishing port will help your population grow. A trade port will provide an income from overseas trade. A naval port allows the construction of warships. More orders? March! Anything more? Forward! Settlement BC! For crown and country! shall defeat us.
There is unused land suitable for farming in this region. Building farms here will help the population to grow over time and produce trade income. Humble servant. At the ready. Yes, sir. Make ready. Forward! March! Waiting for March. Make ready. Mark. Waiting for your orders. Citizens, march. Unhappiness is the first stage on the road to rebellion. At this stage, the problem can be dealt with by an upgrade to the governor's building or an increase in garrison size. Alternatively, taverns, conservatoriums, and related buildings will bring contentment to many without having to resort to the saber. Yes, immediately. At the ready. Forward! March! Make ready! March! Sir, your orders? How may I serve? There is unused land suitable for farming in this region. Building farms here will help the population to grow over time and produce trade income. My eyes are yours. What do you require of me? No one. Let me rest. Yes. Secrecy is certain. Sir. The call to battle! Ready and awaiting order. By the land. Yes. March. Forward. March. Burn. Siege them.
swine rot in the star. Sir, your orders? There is unused land suitable for plantations in this region. Building plantations here will increase your nation's export capacity, improving income through international trade. Settlement under siege. Sir. Make ready. Mark. Humble servant. Ready for order. Sir, your humble servant. Ready and awaiting order. March! Ready and waiting for order. And honor! The siege is broken! Sir. Prepare the troops for battle! Ready for action. Waiting for further orders. is ours. 
Ready and awaiting orders. Troops! Forward! Your humble servant. Yes, sir. Citizens! Sir! Fight! At the ready. Yes. Yes, sir. Sir. Any further? Yes. Take ready for battle! How can I help? Your instructions? Your humble servant. What do you require of me? Sir, I must rest and exercise in folly. I must be ready stop. and awaiting orders. Sir, your orders? Make ready! March! By the land! Gathering supplies! March! Forward! For crown and country! Make, Make ready. ready! Mark! Sorry, sir. We can't do that, sir. Sir. Prepare for war. Commence siege. Pull back. In position. Your orders? Make ready. Destroy them! Placing cavalry units on your flanks gives you flexibility. They can counter any flanking move, or make a move of their own if the way is clear.
fire at will button in the bottom right of the screen. Toggles fire at will on and off for the selected troops. Toggle fire at will off if you wish to preserve ammunition. triumphant immediately yes sir strength and honor and so it was our great nation was born from the ashes of the Revolutionary War rose a nation that upholds the ideals of liberty, equality, and unity. For as the wind blows across America, from the rolling hills to the glistening seas, it will have passed over naught but free men.